Welcome back to my workshop. Now today, completely random video. Uh, I've been doing a lot of work recently on the, uh, the lathe and the table saw, and my shop vac, this one here, is uh, it's taking a bit of a beating, okay? So I know it's blocked, okay? Now this is a Parkside uh, 1500 watt machine. I've had it for about seven years. This is excellent, okay? But what I wanna do is now I know it's blocked, I want to measure how much suck it's got, then I wanna clean it out and then measure how much suck it's got after that, okay? So I need a method of measuring how much it sucks. Right, so basically what I need is a suckometer. And what I got is this, which is a digital anemometer, okay, which measures airflow. And it's only cost about 20 quid off of uh, our friends on Amazon. Uh, and what it looks like is this, okay. And all it does, it basically measures the amount of air that flows through this section here, okay. Uh, and what we want to do is find a decent unit that we can use. Uh, it measures velocity, area, and flow. Okay, so we're interested in flow. Uh, and the units, we can either have it in cubic meters per second, uh, cubic meters per minute, or cubic feet per minute. Okay, we're going to stick to cubic meters per second. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to suck through here, get myself a reading, make a note of that, then clean out my uh, shop vac, and then take a second reading. That's the plan. Right, let's take a first reading. Okay, so all I've got is the uh, hose that comes straight out of here. Uh, I've put it straight onto one of these, which is a 100 millimeter section of hose. Uh, now this should give me a good indication of measuring all of the air that's being drawn from the vac. So we've got our anemometer selected cubic meters per second. Let's start it up and see what we get. Okay, so I did a hold there and we got 3.10 cubic meters per second. Let's get messy and clean this out. Now that is blocked. Right, so this is all cleaned out now. Uh, what I've done is I've just cleaned the filter because it's late o'clock on a Saturday night, everything's shut uh, and I need to get this going. Uh, so all I've done is I've cleaned it out. Don't forget also, clean out the exhaust filter. Most VACs have got a little exhaust filter. Obviously if this is blocked, it makes the motor work harder, which is not good. So don't forget to clean the inlet filter and the exhaust filter. And finally, don't throw this in the bin with your sawdust because you have to go down the bin and get it out. Right, let's reassemble this and then uh, do another reading. Okay, exactly the same setup as before, but now we know this is clean. Uh, I've got my hose here and I've got my meter here, which has turned itself off. Let's turn it back on and we want it on flow and cubic meters per second. Okay, let's turn this on and then do another reading. Right, well, so that's it. Uh, I know it's a pretty obvious, if your filter's blocked, it's gonna reduce how efficient your machine is. Uh, but I just wanted a way to measure how efficient it is. Now it looks like with a block filter, uh, it loses half of its power, okay? So you basically unblock the filter, you double its performance. Now that's obviously with a, uh, just cleaning the filter out. Obviously if you replace the filter, uh, 
you'll probably get even more of a result, but uh, that's not going to happen tonight. Okay, but this is a little digital anemometer, which is about 20 pounds off of Amazon. Uh, I'll probably use this on my chip extractor as well and do something similar just for my information. But I might also use this uh, when I'm building my cyclone, if I ever get around to it. Okay, that's it for today. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.